So I walked into the shop a few minutes ago and I heard a nice little noise. Well, guess what it was? It was the old Lights America shop light, T8 shop light. It decided to let the smoke out randomly. See right here on the end plate, nice little ball of well, it's solidified waxy goop. Now we all know what that is. We dig in here and we get the old switch mode power supply. Let's get this out of the way. Get the power cord out of the way. Let's get this other piece out of the way. Don't need it anymore. Let's see here. All right. Get in here. We can get a good view. All right. The old switch mode power supply, and of course, the product that is the failure mode of 99.9% .9 of these power supplies, right here. An old electrolytic capacitor, quality brand, Smaxon. Old, uh, let's see what we got here 200 volts, 47 microfarad smoothing cap here for the power supply and it it was done i'm sure it dried up when i took it out this guy here was hot as could be too so they've been running hot for who knows long how long and that yeah, was their day to fail it did a real nice job filling the room full of uh smoke and oh wow look here oh yeah look at that solder job if you can see it yeah that's completely loose I just pull it right out. Nah, you don't need solder. That wasn't even soldered. Beautiful. Look over here in this beautiful Lights America light. Look at this connection. This was right under next to the board. Oh, yeah, under it, but just about right there, right, right in here. This thing was sitting in here like, you know, like that. And this thing went down underneath. Eh, I had a, had at least a millimeter before she's. Decided to arc over, but uh, yeah, failure of the electrolytic cap. No surprise, this thing happens all the time. I suppose I could, you know, solder another cap in here, but the whole light was like eight bucks. That oughta, should have told me in the beginning that this thing was high quality, but uh, you know, you know how it goes. Spend a million dollars buying cheap stuff just, just so you can buy it a second time. But uh, what a... POS. I guess it did last a few years, probably five years or something, but you don't expect the failure to mo mode to be a room full of smoke. Of course, this happens way too often with uh, fluorescent ballasts. Anybody that ever owned commercial property will know that at some point the fire department will show up from smoke for smoke in the building, and most of the time it's a ballast deciding to be done. Of course, most of those ballasts are potted and have all kinds of goop all over them and stuff and fireproof inside a big metal box. I mean, this thing is just in here, just floating around inside this little plastic container. And that's that. It let the smoke out. Well, at least we got a few parts to salvage if we even want to put them in the salvage box. That's caps, inductors, transformers. I mean, some diodes, you know, it's, it's definitely built to a price. It's it's all through hole. That's typical. Interesting little switch mode supply. A couple of bigger transistors here, MOSFETs, and yeah, that's it. Well, I can properly fix this guy up here, Lights America. No. Fixed her. Have a good one.